the Botanical Garden is going to the dogs. How, Susan, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good to see you. It's good to see you. So, and of course, Kelsey here from the uh, Arizona Humane Society is excited about this because this is an opportunity that you guys have opened up the Desert Botanical Garden to pet friendly and it has to be dogs. Make sure not pet. Don't bring out right. your alligators or your no snakes alligators. or anything. No, no, no. Let's talk. About how, this is cool. Why are you guys Thank doing you. this? Uh, uh, a lot of our our people who enjoy the garden, a lot of our members, a lot of our guests have pets. They consider them parts of their family. They want to bring all of their family to the garden. Uh, usually, only service animals can come to the garden, uh, but on these special days, you can bring your your dogs. I love it. And, and this is one thing uh, that we want to make sure is that it's also a fundraiser. Am I right? Uh, that's correct. Uh, it's a general admission. For for, for people, uh, it's just the regular price for, for garden guests or free for members, and then it's four dollars per dog. That's uh, generally one dollar per paw, and that money <laughs> goes directly to Arizona Humane Society. So, and that's where Kelsey comes in. I'm going to go back and talk to you more about that. But Kelsey, how are you? Good. How are you? Thank so, you. So, who do you have there? Yes, this is Cece. She's a one-year-old poodle. She is absolutely super friendly and sweet. She was brought to us when she needed some emergency services that her owner unfortunately couldn't um, couldn't afford, um, and so she. She had an emergency C-section in our Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital. But, um, you know, the Desert Botanical Garden partnering with us is such a great example of important partnerships that help raise life-saving funds for animals just like CC. I love it. And you got a few little dogs out there and, of course, educate people on the American Humane Society, which is important. I didn't know you guys actually uh, could do, bring people could bring the dogs. I thought it was more of the rescue that you guys do. Yeah, so we rescue, heal, and adopt um, almost 17,000 animals. So part of that is owner surrenders. You know, if anyone has has a pet that they're just not able to take care of anymore, whether it's monetarily, they're moving or anything like that. We do have resources for them, but most of our animals do come in that are sick, injured, and abused because we have cruelty investigators and emergency animal medical technicians that work 365 days a year. And like I mentioned, we cannot do that without partnerships like the ones with Desert Botanical Garden. So we're really hoping that a lot of people are able to make it out this Saturday. So that'd be nice. Susan, what time does it start? 8 a.m. Okay. Also, to what are some of the rules? Because I know you want to make sure people are clear on that. Yes. Uh, your dogs should be up to date on their vaccinations, their shots, so that everyone stays safe. Dogs should be on leashes. And you should know that your dog is good around other dogs because we get about 800 dogs per event. Uh, so they're going to have a lot of company. So. If they're not social, then maybe it's not a good a place to do. And it's not just uh, walking dogs. I see there's an expo going on, all yeah. kinds of things you can do. Uh, it's a, we call it the marketplace, uh, filled with lots of fun uh, merchandise for people to buy. They can buy their dogs little outfits or snacks. <laughs> uh, so a great time for the dogs and the people. So I love it. Again, we have the information on AZTV.com. It's at the Desert Potato Garden this weekend. Go to the dogs. Go walk with the dogs. Have some fun. Thank you, too, Thank for you. coming in. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right. All right. When we come back, superheroes come in.